Hey everyone, how are you today? I am Lisa, if you don't know me yet, from Plymouth Cards, and I am here today to talk about, oh my gosh, um, I just finished writing a blog about thank you cards, so I thought I'd share some information about that because it's becoming, you know, we're getting to that time of year when there's a lot of thank you cards that need to be written. You know, graduation gifts, shower gifts, weddings, um, all that good stuff. So um, I thought I would just share some of my advice or tips, I guess more than advice on that. And then I wanted to show you the pastel collection that's only available for this month. It, it um, April 30th is the last day that you'll be able to get this collection. Um, what we do is once a month, we introduce a special collection of card colors that we curate so that, you know, you can just have something different than our usual collection. So that's what I have today. So, um, and if you have any questions while I'm chatting, feel free to ask. If you, I would love for you to say hi and let me know where you're from, where you're watching from what it's like there. Right now I am in Plant City, Florida and it is supposed to be almost 90 today and humid. So <laughs> there's that. Um, hopefully it's nice and warm where you are. It's starting to be spring. It's This is um, spring for us. You know, 90s plus is summer. So, um, but I'm enjoying it. It's, it's cooler at night. So, um, you know, Vinny and I went for on a walk last night and actually we, we went for a walk again this morning. So it's been nice. And yeah, so I want to show you the pastel collection. I think it's really pretty this year. Uh, we had to adjust it because we did have some people that, not people, oh my goodness, what am I talking about? We did have some of the colors get discontinued. So it's, it's the constant struggle, especially right now with card colors. So this is the gorgeous pastel collection. Hopefully you like it. So this year it's featuring Dusty Rose. I will hold them up so you can see. And I did put a photograph in so you can see what that looked like too. So there's Dusty Rose, our new apricot. I love this. This is such a thick, rich paper. It has these gorgeous flecks in it. Really just brings out your pictures. It might look a little washed out. Hmm, it does. It doesn't look as peachy on my on my phone like right now when I'm recording as it actually is in real life. But hopefully, hopefully when, I'll hold it closer. Maybe yeah, I think that looks better as I'm peeking over. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so there. Uh, here we go. And we have soft yellow. If you haven't heard, uh, soft yellow was discontinued. But when I was looking for a card color harvest gold to pack for a customer. I I hit the jackpot as um, I guess my family would say. And there was so many, I found a lot of soft yellow. So they were mislabeled, which is, you know, a bummer because I told everyone it was discontinued, but it's back. So we have, we have a good amount of them. So I'm really excited to be able to offer this again. So that's soft yellow. This is pale green. And then we have pale blue and Shimmer Heather. So those are the six colors in this limited edition pastel collection. So you can pick either 24 cards. I think they put the 24 card price up there. Oh, I should... No, that's with uh, special envelopes, but um, unless I'm, yeah, but here we go. So those are the pastel collections, aren't they? Isn't it gorgeous? I think this is perfect for your spring photos. I think, you know, your flowers, the kids, the family, whatever you, you know, if you go on vacation, I think all these colors would be perfect for that. So, yeah. And they'd be great um, if you um, know a budding photographer or... I'm going to show you a few other examples of ways to use the cards. I've been on um, TikTok. I'm not sure if you're on TikTok. If you are, feel free to jump over there. PlymouthCards.com is the name. And I've been showing different ways people use our cards in little clips. So that's been, it's total silliness. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not a professional by any stretch, obviously. So, but it's it's been fun. So um, I do have a few examples to show you too on ways to use the cards. So you could get this set as a, um, yeah, 
I think this would be great as a Mother's Day gift. Mother's Day is going to be here in a few weeks, in case you didn't know. And um, that's a hint to my children. <laughs> Just teasing. Um, and the, what else is I going to say? Or Father's Day. We have, um, yeah. I just think these, the, it's just great for your spring photos. So let me know what you think about the pastel collection. I'd love to get your feedback. And if you have any suggestions for a, another collection of card colors, let me know too, because like I said earlier, every month we come up with, um, I do a, a limited edition collection that's only good for that month. And it's always fun to get input from customers so that I know, you know, what's put together. So pastel for April. I hope you like it as much as I do. And then I was saying I was going to talk about thank you cards. So my take on thank you cards is write them quickly. If you haven't, um, you should write them very quickly. Uh, within two weeks of the event is my suggestion. Um, I maybe I'm a mean, par <laughs> mean parent. You can say that if you wish, but I didn't let my children play with their gift, pre either birthday or Christmas gifts, until they wrote thank you cards because um, they were, you know, they just like would rip things open and then they I, I don't know I just felt like it was a um, a good way to get them to write their thank you cards for gifts that they've received so so that really worked uh, well I don't know but that worked for me might not work for you but that's that's what I, I did and, and my kids are still thank you card writers they're in their 20s and they they still write thank you cards so but I think my um if if you receive cash as a thank you gift you can say thank you for the gift don't i don't know i always feel like awkward of saying oh thank you for the 25 dollars but i th um what i would suggest is writing um here this is the sailboat card if, in case you want to see that up live but what i think you should do is write thank you for the generous gift because you know people don't have to give you gifts so any gift they give you i feel is generous and then say what you're going to use it for. Either you're going to save it for your college education. You're going to bring it with you on vacation. You're going to buy that, you know, my kids would some, you know, be saving up for, um, the boys anyway, would be saving up for a particular video game. So they could say, you know, I'm saving up for this, I don't know, Madden is what pops into my head because I've heard about Madden my whole life. Um, but, you know, this Madden game and... Um, this brought me closer to that goal. So be really in, um, specific about what what you're gonna do if you get if you get money and you're writing a thank you card. I think that's much more. It's better received than not better received, but I think people appreciate it more. That's what I'm trying to say. Than if you just say thanks for the money, um, <laughs> which my youngest has done when he was younger. I'm like, no, 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 that's not what, how you write a thank you card. So we'd have to start over. But um, so that's it. And if, if someone gives you a gift, you know, thank them for the gift and, and mention the gift. It's much more personal to say thank you for the new toaster than it is thanks for the wedding gift or shower gift. Um, probably not the best example, but I think you understand what I'm saying. Um, yeah, the more personal the note can be, the better. And if someone does something nice for you, then write them a thank you card and thank them for doing whatever it is that they did, you know, that they, they, you know, maybe you were feeling sick and they wrote, they brought you a dinner. So you could just like, thank you so much for the dinner. It was delicious. I'd love to get the recipe. Those kind of things is kind of what I'm trying to say about thank you cards. I'm sure y'all probably already know, but I think, you know, maybe this will help someone who's stuck, who has writer's block. Um, the cards are all blank inside so that you can write your own message. And I will be posting a blog that, uh, that I do have written up. I have it printed out on paper. And, um, but I will be print, um, posting that link later on this afternoon so that you can go right to it and um, yeah, po get ideas. I'd love to have your thoughts on thank you cards. Is there something I'm missing? Is there something special and unique that you do with thank you cards that, you know, we could share and all learn from? That's what I love about these platforms is that everyone, in my experience, you know, you, everyone's just so nice and so helpful and we're a community and we're not here to like, you know, 
I'm writing better thank you cards than you. <laughs> That's not the whole gist of it. It's to all help each other just to do better is how I feel about it. I don't know if that's how you feel about it or maybe you're just here to watch me do something dumb because I usually do that could be it but um but I am so thankful that you are here you know it, it's it's exciting I cannot believe that this is the 98th week of me doing that so I have four more and then I have been doing this for two years every week which kind of blows my mind um, it really, really does. I don't know about you. If you were one of the first ones, first, um, if you watched one of the first ones almost two years ago, I'm sorry, but thank you so much for doing that because they were quite awful. I, I was like a little robot. I was so scared, but, um, so I wanted to mention that another thing that you could do with the thank you cards is instead of getting one like this with a picture, you could make your even more unique gift, um, not gift card, thank you cards, by one, taking a picture of something. You could take something, a photograph of something in the person's yard or at the event, and you could do that and send it to them. So I just wanted to show you a couple of pictures I had. You could send that. You know, this is my sister and my daughter. So my daughter could write my sister a card and say, oh, thank you so much, Auntie Toby. We had, you know, so much fun at the playground with you. Thank you for taking us, that kind of thing. So you can make it more personal. And if you, here's a few other ways that our customers use the cards. And if you have an idea on how to you how, or an idea on how to use them, or if you use them differently, I would love to know. Because like I said, I've been putting every, um, every couple of days I've been putting up ideas on TikTok. So I have a cost. She does mini quilts. So isn't it, can you see that? So she just takes the scraps of fabric that she has and makes these mini quilts and they fit right in the card. Isn't that adorable? And then okay, this is another customer. She does machine embroidery. Isn't that cool? It just kind of blows your mind how creative people are. I don't know about if you feel that way, but now this is my idea. Um, the cassette tape. So that is the actual little sleeve that came in the um, my cassettes. Um, I don't know if you ever, if you are old enough to have cassettes, but I I have a significant collection of cassettes that I really don't want anymore because they're just taking up space, and I don't have a cassette player. So I thought, how fun would it be to take the cassette art and put it on a card, and then I can frame it. So, oh, let me go show you. I'm going to go get one. This is um, another one that I did. Hopefully you'll see. Um, here's a few more. Yes, I had a very eclectic, or I still do. I like a variety of music. Um, this is the first concert I ever went to. So that one has to go in a really nice frame as a memory. But isn't that just so fun? You know, it's a memory, but it's also artwork. You can hang it on your wall. So that's another thing that you can do with the cards. And... Yeah. Do you have any ideas? Don't be shy. If I can get up and do these lives, you can type a little thing in the comments, seriously, because this, yeah, it's taking me some time to get over um, to do this. But so, yeah, so that's another way. But I will be posting. I'm going to try to post some more of um, the TikToks here on Facebook for you to enjoy. <laughs> yes, I don't know if that's what I would call it, but um but but if you're not on TikTok that way you won't get to, you won't miss out on that and so that's what I have oh I wanted to mention the sampler as as the um the holidays are coming closer you know Mother's Day Father's Day I did say the the new pastel collection or the limited pastel collection would be great for that but also the sampler this is our number one card um set that our number one selling card set it's thirty cards. 30 different colors and it comes wrapped up in our eco-friendly wrap and inside the wrap ooh, I'll show you inside the wrap if you're new here are tags so you can cut these tags out and use the handy twine that comes on the comes with it and make your own gift tags another way to um, just reduce reuse recycle repurpose and so that this would be a really great gift for um, Father's Day, Mother's Day, East, well, Easter Sunday, so that might be a little, unless you do an after-the-fact gift, but there's so many things coming up. Um, so that those are my ideas for today. If you have anything 
to add or share. Ooh, and I'm also working on, on new card colors. Believe it or not, I actually just got notified by my paper company and the people that actually, the machine, the company where the cards actually get, you know, cut and made in, into cards for me. And they told me that um, I need to start you know, placing my orders now because there's paper shortages. Isn't that insane? So um, I've just placed my order for the Christmas cards. If you can believe it, we're in April. I've been working on the designs for a while, but but they're like, you need to place the order. So I did that. So the designs are, you know, it's in the works, but they said that um, typically, just so you, I don't know if you care, but typically I get, I place the order in three weeks tops, I get the cards. They told me that I might not get even, I just placed the order yesterday and they said I probably won't get them till the end of June. So that's a little, oh my goodness, crazy, right? Um, so who would have thought there would be a paper shortage, especially um, when the paper's made here in the US. You know, I thought, well, maybe if it was coming from overseas, it would be different. I thought I was fine because everything's being manufactured here, but that is not the case. So I learned something new this week about paper. So therefore, based on that, I am working on 2023 card colors because I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I'm going to need to place that order this summer to have them by next year. So um, yeah, so well, that's what I have today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and week. And um, I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. If you aren't watching this live, feel free to say hi anyway, and I will chat with you. You can always call me if you have questions, 877 830-3405. You can um, private message me through Facebook. You can get onto the website and there's a little chat with us button and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great weekend and if you celebrate Easter, I hope you have a wonderful Easter. Thank you.